So how did privately held businesses perform over the past year? And what are some of the best and worst sectors? We get Brian Hamilton from Sageworks on set to walk us through it. Brian, welcome. How's everything going? Good. Thank you so much for joining us. We um, we don't focus on, on private companies. We're always talking sure. about the publicly traded ones. What's the biggest difference in terms of, you know, what does the basket of private companies tend to cover? Sure. Well, first, let's put it in perspective. There's 27 million privately held companies. There's only 5,000 publicly traded firms. So the vast majority of economic activity is generated by private companies, not public companies, as you know. The companies, uh, most of the companies we cover, uh, represent sectors that have done very well. We cover about 1,200 industries. Most of them are up, so they're doing very well, actually. So broadly speaking, these private companies are doing better than the publicly traded ones? A little bit better, sure. Sales are up, margins are up, profits are up. Why do you um, think that is? Well, I think the economy is getting better. I mean, if you look at the engine, right, we look at GDP, uh, we look at profits, you know, revenues, margins, those types of things. You have to look at those over a long period of time. For the last 18 months, these sectors or these companies are definitely recovering, and they drive the economy, which is why GDP is up as well. Well, and, and you know, we all know that small companies, often private companies, are the agents of change in the labor market. Sure. They do the hiring. Yep. They do the job yep. creation. Yep. Is that dynamic changing? Obviously, the labor market's a lagging indicator for the overall sure. well, it's economy. A, it's a great point, and historical perspective is definitely necessary. There have been times, like in the early 70s, so you and I might remember that a little bit, right? Yeah, but, Kelly does. Uh, yeah, Kelly does it, right. But where there was a big lag between GDP growth and job creation. Right now, we're about 18 months into basically good revenue growth for mm -hmm. private companies, and you can start to see that job creation is starting to happen. So we're right about the mean of that. But of course, the big question is, can we take it from you know 8.5% down a lot lower? The unemployment and we don't rate. know. But most of those companies are doing very well. Well, and we thought it'd be interesting to ask you guys what sure. some of the most and least profitable companies were last year for right. a sense of where that hiring and firing may be happening. So let's start right, with, sure. with the ones that are struggling the most. And perhaps no surprise here, but yeah. a lot of them uh, construction oriented. And, and why right. is, in particular is that? Well, here's what's going on. It's a great point. It's very interesting, right? Because the revenues are going up, but their margins are razor thin. And it makes sense because they're b bidding out work uh, at cost to keep in business, so their margins are super thin. If you're in the residential uh, construction business or the commercial construction business, the plumbing business, anything like that, anything around real estate, mm -hmm. your revenues are going up, but your margins are super thin. So you can imagine why they're doing it. They just so want to stay in business. It's yeah. almost always been the case. For it's that all, sector. Yeah. However, in this cycle, this it's very interesting. This recession has been a real estate-led recession. It's been amazing. If you look at those sectors that are particular to real estate, almost Almost all of them have been down. Yeah. So in this case, it's nice that we see revenues going up. It's good, by the way, that we see pr uh, positive profit margins because remember, in 2009, there were negative margins. Exactly. So, sure. so things are getting a little bit better, They're but it's the last going. sector that's actually improving. Printing, by the way, also a, a, sure. an, a very limited profitable industry. Grocery right. stores, though, that one too, it, it's a reminder that some of these that if yeah. you're in the grocery business, it's also an extremely low margin right. business. It is, yeah. Always. But they sell a lot, too, so that's one sort of an aberration. I think if, if yeah. this included public companies, Amazon.com would probably have to be up there. It's right. kind of a similar model. You're trying yeah. to sell, right. make up in volume what you may not be exactly. getting on, on individual yeah, items. Exactly, that's correct. And yeah. walk us through, on the other hand, now, sure. what some of the most profitable okay, industries are. Okay, all the typical ones that you'd expect. The doctors are doing well, the dentists okay. are doing well, the accountants are doing well. Their margins are near about 20%. And so we're back to where we were pre-recession, so they're doing pretty well. Um, you know, if you're in a business where you can charge a lot, you're going to get a better margin. In charge of government in some cases. Yeah, that's true too. Yeah. The accountants, this is the most profitable industry that you guys track. It's fascinating. Why is that? Really fascinating. And that one, um, in the recession, um, you know, we track all these different sectors. The accountancy um, sector grew. The revenues were up and their margins were retained. You know, our thinking on that is that as people sort of faced financial difficulties and their 401ks went down and all this other stuff, they fled to their accountants to get advice. So not only are their revenues up, but their margins are great too. Yeah, it didn't help our margins or our revenues, though. We, <laughs> we suffered with, We suffered along with everybody yeah. else, so they weren't right. necessarily t turning to the Wall Well, there's 1,200, so you're probably one of those other ones. Yeah, so, yeah. probably one yeah. of the others. Do these industries offer us a sense of where the hiring is happening? Well, right now... Um, you know, you kind of stepwise into this thing. Uh, the first large industry category that has grown, that creates a lot of jobs, is the retail sector. Uh, we were waiting for that. We were really waiting for that for a long time. Retail is up by about three to four percent over the last 18 months. That's a lot. 
because they create a lot of jobs. Residential construction, um, you know, commercial construction, another huge segment. Their, their margins are thin, mm -hmm. but the revenue is going up, so it's good for employment. And are these good? Yeah. Do, do we need to differentiate between good and bad quality jobs? We start to hear this this yeah. now when people look at the it's employment figures question. and say, is it all retail and, yeah. and leisure? And are these good quality jobs? Well, it's a great question. So I'm, I'm going to not avoid it completely. But, <laughs> but here's the truth, right? We have to look at traditional metrics for unemployment and employment. So if we start like dicing all that too much, then we're going to be using, you know, comparing apples to oranges from 20 years ago. So right. we don't dive into that too much. The fact is, unemployment peaked at about 10 percent. It's down to 8.5. The trend is good, and that's very positive. However, your point's well taken. There are people who make legitimate arguments that a lot of these jobs are in sort of, or a lot of this job creation is around sort of uh, jobs that people don't want. Yeah, baristas at Starbucks, for instance. Yeah. I, I don't know, those might be highly competitive these days. Yeah, well, true, you get health care benefits. Uh, so what, what do yeah, one, one thing, though, so yeah. we, what we do is we look at GDP, inflation, interest rates. We look at what's going on with these privately held companies. Those are all, it's so, sort of like a glacier move, right? Those are moving glacier the way we want them to. And so the unemployment rate, if it keeps ticking down, will be good. We don't know what's going to happen, but it going down is definitely a good trend. And yeah. what, what's yeah. the trend in, in creation of, of private businesses? Are we seeing an actual expansion of the number of businesses that are being... We are, you know. It's interesting. It's become very vogue, as you guys know. You cover this all the time. It's very vogue now to be an entrepreneur. So we have a lot of confidence in the younger generation. People are creating um, businesses. And obviously, 80%, 70 to 80% of new jobs are in those businesses. So that's good. And by the way, uh, venture capital funding is ticking up. Uh, banking's coming back. You know, we, we don't report a lot about this, but the fact is, people are uh, the banks are starting to lend a little bit more, and so that's good too for these businesses as well. Yeah, well, SageWorks, useful place to kind of watch, engage what's happening in the economy. Thank you so much, Brian, for joining us. Great to be here. Thanks, Thank guys. You. Yeah.